A significant enhancement in this release is in the area of what we call white space management. This is a new technology that allows for annotation fields to remain dynamic and updatable, while at the same time the text itself retains its modified location. For example, if a user were to move their horizontal curve data to a more desirable location for sheet production, the curve data fields themselves remain dynamic and updatable in case the geometry changes. However, if the geometry were to change, the curve data would not revert back. So we're going to begin here by uh, opening a 2020R3 or a 10.9 project file with uh, 2021R2. Now this particular file just has an alignment in it with some text that was placed in that previous version. So if we hover over this text, we see that it identifies as annotation cell, which tells me that this comes from a previous version and, and is unmanaged. Now with that, let's go to uh, explore and let's drill down into our annotation group that is used for this particular stationing. And let's open the manage dialog. And if you go to the uh, different groups that here uh, that control the text, we're going to change the uh, property, the manage modification property from false to true. So we'll do this for our station values. We'll do it for our uh, curve data. We'll do it for our point of beginnings, our PIs and so on and so forth. So remember, uh, as you come into this new version, by default, these properties will be set to false. And so for an existing project, you would need to enable them. Now, if I go back and hover over the text, you'll see it now identifies as civil annotation text, which tells me that this property has been set to true and it's considered to be managed. Now, you can see this that when we actually select it, and we get the little info, we get a property, a location property. And we have three values, default, uh, relative, and fixed. Now, as we mentioned earlier, when you actually move it, it will, by default, take on the value of relative. So you can see now, by moving that text over, say, 100 feet to the right, I've set it to relative. Now, if I update the alignment, that, take, that text will stay relative to its original um, position. If I want to change that to fixed, I can do that. And now notice when I move the uh, alignment, that uh, point of beginning text will stay exactly uh, where I told it to stay. So that's what fix says. It says just do not move and stay right where you are. At any point, I can move it change it to another uh, uh, properties. For example, here it's set to fixed. I'm going to change it back to relative and it will now react uh, with that property and stay relative to its original anchor point. So you have full control as a user as to how you want any piece of text to react. Let's look at another example. I'll just take this uh, station value. I'll move it from south of the alignment to north of the alignment. Notice when I moved it, it automatically set itself to uh, relative. Um, if I want to change it to something else, for example, default, now what I've told it is go back to the original behavior, which means if anything changes, refire and go to your original position. Now let's go down here to where this curve data is, and I'll show you a couple other things you can do. Notice here I've got some curve data that's outside of my name boundary. So I'm going to pick it up and move it inside the uh, sheet. Now notice, once again, when I did that, the uh, value automatically, the property automatically set to relative. Now I'm going to change that to fix because I don't want it to move. Now I'm going to copy this. Now when I copy inside the same model, and this is important, the text that gets created in the copy is also managed. So here I've got two pieces of curve data. They're still dynamic in the sense that if I change the radius value from 1200 to 1400, they're going to update, but notice that they maintained their fixed location. Now look at, let's look at another example in the area of profile. So here I've, I've opened the uh, manage annotation dialog. 
and I'm looking at the uh, some of the text within the profile annotation group. And I won't bother, I've already set these, but you'll notice as I kind of scroll down here and I, I go through some of the different pieces of text, you can see the property here has already been set to true. So this text here has not been placed yet. So once we actually clip out the sheets and annotate the profiles, it will take on this new uh, setting. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got my name boundaries already on there, so I'm just going to create some sheets very quickly. And if you go to the first sheet, you can see the profile has been annotated. We can see that a little bit better on the second sheet. Now let's go to one of the drawing models and let's take a look at what we've got. Notice that any of the text that was placed as part of the annotation now identifies as civil annotation text, which once again tells me that this is managed. So here I'm going to go to this label and change it to fixed. Okay, so I'm going to do it a little bit differently and then I'm going to move it. So I'm just going to pick it up and move it over here and that maintains its fixed property. Here I'm going to pick this up and move it up just off that tangent slope line a little bit and again by default this becomes a, a relative. Now, with that, let's go back to the main view and make a change. So I'm going to expand this profile window, and let's change this value here from, say, 1187 to 1200. Uh, once I do that, if I go back over to my drawing model, you'll see the value has been changed to 1200, but it maintained its um, uh, position. One more thing here before we leave uh, this subject here. If I go to one of the sheets, I mentioned earlier, as long as you copy text, uh, within a model, you will get the, the copy will become managed. The same thing is not true when you copy from a reference. So here I'm copying from my drawing model into my sheet model. And when you do that, it just creates standard microstation text.